Welcome back everyone to another exciting video by me, Barbarian Kung Fu, and this is just a bunch more stuff I bought. I got a stack of stuff. I ain't done a video in a while, so it's gonna be a lot of stuff from over a long span of time. So let's get right into it. I'm just gonna show a bunch of comic books. I got a bunch of comics from various places. If I can remember where I got them from, then I'll tell you. Otherwise, we'll just pretend like the comic book gods delivered them to my door, straight to me. Or I had to drive to them. So, first off, uh, this is a book. It was a one per store. And when it came out, I wasn't able to get it. It's been years trying to find a copy that I could afford. Finally found one on eBay. It is the marked number one. And I got a signed copy. This is signed by Brian Haberlin, who is someone who worked on it. I can't, couldn't tell you uh, if that's... Uh, that's the interior artist, I do believe. It's got a little COA on the back. So I picked that up off of eBay. It's very stoked. I can finally turn off my eBay notification for whenever those come up. Uh, next thing up, some older stuff here. Got these at Flea Market. Um, these all have stickers on them so you can actually see what I paid for it. This is From the Beyond, number one. It's not a very high grade copy, but you know, it doesn't really matter. I didn't have it. Let's get this weird, looks like a turtle creature on it. That's awesome. Here's an ARG. ARG number two. It's got my Universal Monsters on there. Love them. It's good stuff. They're eating the people at the theater. Then I got this one for a pretty good deal. It only cost me $350. It's uh, House of Secrets, $148. He throws in like a lot of the stuff, it had little stickers on the back. Same dude had this. I uh, probably already have this. Um, I can feel that it still has the card inside, which is something that I didn't even think about. But uh, Duckman number one. This is not the one shot, this is the series of Duckman from Tops. So there you have it. That's that's all came from the flea market I went to. Uh, I can't remember where I got this, so I'll just show it. Legion of Monsters, Satana, number one. Very nice land cover like these Legion of Monsters. I think I have the whole set now. I think this was the last one I needed. There might be a Morbius one I don't have. Can't remember. This is a comic block exclusive. 21st century Tank Girl number one. Love Tank Girl. And that is very reminiscent of the original Tank Girl. Uh, I got this from Cat60. That's my, that's my dog. He takes care of me. He had a, uh, the, this is the movie insert ash can that came in one of the Spider-Man movie DVD sets uh, with uh, Amazing Spider-Man 50. First Kingpin. So I am very stoked to have that. Also got this from Cat. I'm trying to get a bunch of these Kirby number ones. Uh, the DC number ones he did are the ones I mostly don't have that I want to get. OMAC number one, really nice copy. The, the, my boy Cat60 hooked me up on. These didn't come from Cat60. I can't. I think I got this in a collection I bought. Uh, this is one of the previews. I collect previews and ash cans and stuff like that. This is the JLA preview for Justice and Liberty. It's like four pages or something like that. But nice Alex Ross cover. Um, I got this comic when I went up to Ohio last time to visit. And uh, I got this at an antique store. It is Jane's Addiction, the the hard rock comics, Jane's Addiction. That was pretty cool to find there. Take that sticker off here. I got this from Zarabinsky in an auction. Got a really good deal on it, and it's a cool book that not too many people 
have on their radar, but it's a, a cool book to have and it's got some pretty good value and high grade. Scud number one, he sent it to me in this cool uh, comic capsule thing. So that's pretty awesome. I was happy to get that and I, I don't think I, anybody else bid against me. I got it for the starting price in the auction and I was pretty stoked about that. I didn't have to fight for it. Nobody knew what it was. So. <laughs> Um, this is uh, this is a new book. It's just a variant. Um, I really like Arthur Adams variants. Uh, this is the Thor, Mortal Thor variant he did with Angela. <clears throat> Something about you got them, uh, you got them, them big girls. Makes them makes them look like they could kick your ass, kind of girls. Um, I can't remember where I got this. Basic Instinct number one. Pretty cool. Uh, Pick this up off of a YouTube auction. I think, I think it was a YouTube auction. Um, but it's, I, I'm, I'm not a DC collector. I have certain DC books that I know and like. And this is one of those books. It is uh, Superman, number 233. Iconic Neil Adams Superman cover. I got this for a good deal. That was another reason that I picked it up. Um, get them when you can. Now's the, now's the time to be buying those key books. Uh, just like this Demon number one. Another Kirby number one. Got that from my boy Cat 60 as well, I do believe. And I was very stoked to get that. Uh, here's another book. I think I got this at my local shop. I think the next few I got at my local shop. Um, this is the sampler for Hill House Comics. It's got the basket full of heads cover on it, but this is the sampler, so it's got previews for all these different Hill House comics they put out. So that's pretty cool. Going straight to the PC. Um, got these. These aren't bagged and boarded because I got them out of the dollar bin and I hadn't got around to doing it yet. But this is a second print for Thunderbolts. Number 145, the man thing. Got that out of the dollar bin. Got these out of the dollar bin at my shop. This is the Campbell variant for Spider Gwen number seven. And these aren't beat up or anything. These, they just got them in the dollar bin. Uh, Spider Woman Alpha. Campbell variant. They connect. It was missing one. So now I gotta figure out what the other one is that it was missing. Here's Spider Woman number six. The other. The third of the fourth Campbell variant that goes in that set. And uh, yeah, I'll just have to figure out what the other one was and go from there. Um, almost done, just got a couple more. Uh, this is a book that I picked up at the uh, Georgia Comic Convention, which is a four times a year they do a comic show up in Atlanta and it's at the Marriott. Um, it's just a one day on a Sunday always the same sellers usually like you can't become a new seller there <laughs> there's like a three-year waiting list to sell um but uh i got this book in a dollar bin almost dropped it um the guy that was selling at that booth had just bought a collection and he was basically like i hadn't looked through it i'm not doing anything with it i buy it i want to flip it and make my money on it so x-men Number, what is this? Number 159. This is where Storm turns into a vampire. Bill Sienkiewicz cover. So, this is what I thought was pretty cool to find out when I opened it up. It has a signature from Claremont. And it's got Bill Sienkiewicz's initials right there. So, double signed. For a buck. I didn't have a Sienkiewicz signature either, so... When I found that, I was like, oh yeah, that's cool stuff there, buddy, that's staying with me. It's always good to check your books too. <laughs> um, let's see, I'll show, I'm gonna show this one first. I got this, uh, I think I got this from uh, Brew How, a brew, brew Front. Yeah, best forearms in the business. Uh, this is the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back 
Marvel Super Special Magazine. Really nice shape. I had a beat up copy. This one's much nicer than mine. So now I just got to go into my magazines and get my copy that's lower grade and I'll sell that for real cheap and replace it with this much nicer one. So shout out to Brewfront. Um, got the rest of these books. I got these all from Mr. Unknown Comics. Um, he is a great guy and he hooked me up with a Punisher magazine number two. This would be the direct one with a blank barcode. Uh, I think that's, oh, this is a rude cover. This one is, uh, shoot, I can't tell. I can't tell you this. Is. This is number three. This is a new stand. I didn't have one, two, and three. I have a number one in my collection, but I didn't have those two. There's a few other ones I'm missing. Um, but this was, he had, a, he had a run of these, and he sold me number two, because that's the only one I wanted, because it's an Arthur Saddam cover. It's, it's a Savage Tales number two. Nice Arthur Saddam art there. And then the last book, this is a book that I've wanted ever since I found out it existed. Um, being a G.I. Joe kid growing up, G.I. Joe was the comics I read when I first got into comics. And so when I found out about this one, I was like, that's an awesome cover. And then I found out how rare it was, and I was like, I'm never going to get one of those. But he hooked me up with a G.I. Joe special, number one. Todd McFarlane interior art, but he didn't do the cover. Uh, Goiser. Is that how you say it? He did the cover. Doing a Todd McFarlane homage. Cool book. So that's the last, that's it. That's all I want to show you. Try to make it quick and easy. So if you like what you saw, go watch my other haul videos because I buy all kinds of shit like that. Stuff like that. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. It's free. And I don't have that many subscribers let's take over the subscriber world and i'll see you next time i get a chance to film something till then keep it in the funny pages enough said <laughs> Bam!